Since in this limit we are given x tends to 1 and x square minus ax plus b by x minus 1 is equal to pi. Then what is a plus b? Firstly, this is uh, a quadratic equation in the numerator and just a linear one in the denominator. Right. So now if this limit exists, obviously this x minus 1 should be a factor of this one. Otherwise, what will happen? So for example, if x square plus 10x plus 11 by x minus 1, if something is like this, if x minus 1 is not a factor of this one, then there will be a vertical asymptote, right? Vertical asymptote, something like this. Right, when x equal to 1, one side if you approach, it will be, uh, it will be negative. Another side if you approach, it will be positive, this value of this fraction. So, the, uh, and this is in the denominator. So, one side it will tend to infinity. Another side it will tend to, uh, one side it will tend to plus infinity. Another side it will tend to minus infinity. So, uh, there will not be any limit. Right. If x minus 1 is not a factor. Right. So, for example, uh, x square minus 4 by x minus 2. Then what will happen? x minus 2 into x plus 2 by x minus 2. Right. So, we cancel this x minus 2, x minus 2 and we will say this graph, there will be some hole at when x equal to 2. Right. But, but the graph approaches this value. But whereas, if x minus 2 is not a common factor, what will happen? The graph will go like this from one side and the other side it will go like this. So, there will not be any limit because, because when the denominator is becoming 0, there is no way to remove this, uh, this denominator. Right. Right. When there is a common, uh, common factor only, we will cancel that out and we will say the limit exists because there will be a hole and we can say, we can fill that hole by putting whatever, giving whatever value. So, clearly, if this limit exists, obviously x minus 1 should be a factor of this one. So, numerator we can write it as x minus some 1 into x minus something else, right, because this is a quadratic equation. Now, this is a quadratic equation. Obviously, there are two roots. What is the sum of the roots? Sum of the roots is minus this minus b by a, right. If it is ax square plus bx plus c, now here it is a minus of minus a, right, and product of the roots is b, b by coefficient of x square which is 1. Now, obviously, product of the roots is equal to b, one root is 1, obviously other root is b. So, this equation is actually x minus 1 into x minus b, right. So, by x minus 1, this is the limit we are talking about. Limit x tends to 1, right. Now, this limit is given as b, right. Obviously, x minus 1, x minus we can cancel. Then, what does that mean? 1 minus b, because x tending to 1, 1 minus b is actually equal to 5. And what does that mean? b equals to 1 minus 5, which is minus 4. Fantastic. b is minus 4, but we want a plus b, not just b. Right. Now, how do we find a? Obviously, x minus 1 is a factor. That means x is 1, x equal to 1 is a root. Uh, when x equal to 1, x square minus ax plus b should be equal to 0, right? Right. This is a quadratic equation x this is this is 1 and sorry this is this is b which is minus 4 and this is 1 right this is 1 one root is already given this is 1 and this is this point is minus 4 and this point is 1 now uh, this equation when if we substitute x equal to minus 4 or if we substitute x equal to 1 this should become 0 because substituting 1 is easy we will do that right 1 minus a plus b is equal to 0 and what is our b? And uh, so, what does that mean? Uh, b is our minus 4. 1 minus a minus 4 is equal to 0. So, that means minus 3 minus a equal to 0. a equals minus 3. Right. And b equals minus 4. So, a plus b equals. What is our a plus b? Minus 3 plus minus 4 minus 7. Minus 7 is the correct answer. Right, guess. Only important thing that you have to note here is when a limit exists, obviously that means x minus 1 is a factor of this one. Right. Otherwise, limit does not exist. One side, if you approach, if you approach x uh, 1 from the left hand side, it will get some minus infinity or plus infinity. And if you approach from the right hand side, you will get either the other infinity. Right. Right, guess. 
So, and that's how we have to solve this equation, uh, solve, solve this limit problem. Thank you, guys.